The Islamic Republic of Iran's broadcasting service is very clearly a sort of intelligence arm of the Iranian regime. It's part and parcel of its tools of repression. So you see the Iranian regime, for example, tortures people, it executes people, it imprisons people, dissidents, the opposition, anyone who dares to protest. And we see how the broadcasting service works hand in hand with this regime in order to discredit all opposition and very often broadcast confessions that have been made under serious torture. Yeah, absolutely. You you cannot recognize and differentiate. A film broadcast on the uh, Islamic Republic broadcasting uh, um, system and satellite, whether this has been made in a torture room or uh, in the studio or a TV studio, you can't distinguish. And the recently they've started producing, they've always done it, but most recently they've started to produce a number of documentaries to discredit uh, opposition, uh, the work, uh, worker and uh, labor leaders, in specifically the case of Ismail Bakshi and the supporters, uh, um, Sepide Rolyan, who have actually exposed the whole system of torture in Iran. It's also very interesting the arguments that the regime is using in these documentaries. And of course, it's the ongoing thing of any sort of protest being linked to Western intelligence, Western governments, neocolonialism, promoting Islamophobia. These are key words that very often the so-called uh, you know, pro-Islamist left, the anti-imperialist left, often uses against uh, people like ourselves who are opposed to Islamism and Islamic regimes. And they're using a very similar arguments to sort of link it with that, to say, you know, these are not protests uh, that are coming out from the people. These are not po uh, popular social political movements like the movement for women's liberation against veiling for example against gender segregation but they are linked to some foreign agent it's sort of like saying the people's vote protest in britain which was one of the largest protests uh, in british history uh, was manufactured by european governments because they don't want britain to leave the european union i mean it's just doesn't make any sense and it, you know it, yeah. it's just and Such I, think, I mean, it's not really because they can't uh, uh, respond to legitimate demands of people uh, in Iran. They try to say everything is doesn't have any legitimacy, and the, only the source of it is intelligence service of the foreign uh, countries, and is part of the neo. Uh, colonial design for Middle East and Asia. Yeah, and they've got, in a way, they've got to say that because otherwise they'd have to say, well, it's our policies and the fact that an Islamic regime is antithetical to 21st century life, which is why there are all these protests and these mass protests taking on, uh, taking place in Iran over many, many decades now. در واقع یک حرکت رازگرا از جریان سلطه جهانی با حمایت آجانس های اطلاعاتی به قصد اسلام ستیزی و کاملا استعماری است کمپین آزادی های یواشکی زنان در ایران یک ساله شد در واقع در دیدگاه جریان نوین استعماری فرنگ شرقی و اسلامی و نمادهای آن مانند هجاب فرنگ پستر و فرودستر محسوب می شود و فرنگ غربی به عنوان فرنگ برتر به جهانیان معرفی می شود این جبهارایی کاملا تکرار تاریخ استعمار است که حالا در قالب نوین باز تعریف شده است It's a field like a hunting field. What are these with red light district? These, you know, girls behind the windows will give you a pleasant time for a certain amount of money that you want to. It's always good, you know. And again, this whole comparison of women's uh, liberation and feminism being the same as prostitution and women selling their bodies and, you know, the fact that uh, women can be raped at any time and, you know, making this sort of equation again just shows how degraded uh, is this sort of Islamist way of thinking about women's rights and women's bod bodily autonomy and uh, the women's liberation movement. And apparently, uh, the uh, uh, you know, woman's liberation is against the Eastern uh, tradition and culture. And Eastern tradition and culture is represented by hijab and the woman's wailing. And anybody who wants to undermine that 
it's part and parcel of the uh, um, colonial prostitution uh, ring <laughs> yeah designed <laughs> for for middle east to undermine that and this is the core of the islamic regime and we've heard that not only from the islamic regime but the supporters of the islamic and islamism in europe yeah i mean they always talk about how these are western rights when we uh, defend them and again it's this argument that the iranian regime uses and very clearly though in every village and every uh, city uh, in uh, countries that are under Islamic rule, we see people fighting for what is really universal values and not Western ones. This is again another attempt to discredit it. Shadi is at the door of Mudawim, Mehman Television Farsi BBC. But as Khuruj as Keshwar and Tashkil Masses Rahi, Mustagiman Tate Kushesh for him at the Hifus Karar Girift. But I was told that I started his or Euro as Hifus Tari of Korat. But I resign on Tate on one project, a dollar, para Iran, para Ozodi Hamjans was. همچنین <laughs> به این صورت امروز هم جنس بازی تبدیل به نمادی برای تنوع طلبی جنسی شده است. And this discussion too on LGBT, you know, uh, talking about it as something that is a sort of medical perversity and the fact that it's uh, Western governments that have imposed, you know, uh, gay rights on the population at large. Uh, when, when again, you know, uh, the gay rights movement was vis-a-vis -vis, uh, many uh, Western governments and for changes in the law to end discrimination and the persecution of gay people and also against the church, you know. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that what they try to do is to, again, link the movement for the right of the uh, LBGT uh, um, in Iran, uh, which is very closely linked to the women's liberation, they try to link this to the design of the new colonial and intelligence service. I mean, this, how clearly can they say? They are under pressure from all sides. Mm -hmm. And the only excuse they have, the only theme in a documentary is the intelligence service and mm -hmm. the uh, you know, neo-colonial designed for Iran and Middle East. Haryam Namazi, Karmand Humaud Far Dar Valu, Committee by name Committee Muslim and Sabiq, Rahandozi Kade, ke mukhtas nirhay murtad va zin bargeshta. I don't want to say Islam or Dige Beshna Bam Tuzen. Committee Muslim and Sabiq, Ashkara be Tamaskur Islam va Hakam Islami bi bardozat. Shomam shaksan chand din bar az in masale istifade yani zin. ابزار یعنی از پیکر استفاده کردین برای اعتراض آره من فکر می‌کنم خیلی ابزار مهمیه به خصوص چون می‌دونین همیشه بدن زن تو دست خودش نیست همیشه یک ابزاری برای پول در آوردن برای فروش و یکی از راه‌ها اینه که بالاخره با خود بدن آدم بیای توی ملع عام به مقدسات توهین کنی بگی که من مرتدم شوریا فقه کمیته مسلمانان سابق که با حمایت پلو تأسیس شده آشکارا به تمسخور اسلام و احکام اسلامی می پردازد خود مریم نمازی شخصا در پاریس و در محوطه موزه لور برهنه شد او همچنین با توهین به کلمه الله در پرچم ایران تصویری ضد خدا از خود به جای گذاشت بگی که من مرتدم حالا چیکار داری؟ بز من حق دارم مرتد باشم حق, حق دارم از بدنم به طوری که خودم تصمیم گرفتم استفاده کنم و به نظرم این یه درسیه And of course in this documentary they use me as an example to say look this is what happens when people have 
this sort of freedom, you know. Uh, they will uh, use their bodies in the way that they choose. They will become atheists and apostates, start ex-Muslim organizations. And, you know, and, and of course, equating this with the sort of... Uh, the, and that's why there's a need for, for example, a Me Too protest and campaign in, in the West because it leads to rape and all of these other debased things that happen because of, you know, what happens when women... Uh, try to be free and not respect culture and religion. Yeah. As it's very interesting, the uh, the documentary out of Vision is a, a part of a whole series of documentaries that are trying to uh, create and undermine the opposition and the legitimate movement for liberation in Iran. But part and parcel of this, and I, I think is acknowledged by the Islamic regime, is the social media. فضای مجازی امکان فعالیت های گسترده بنیاد هایی را داده است که با اهداف مشابه همچنان فعال هستند بدون اینکه نیازی باشد در داخل ایران حضور داشته باشند شبکه های از این قبیل همواره با سو استفاده از بی اطلاعی مشارکت کنندگان خود و با بودجه دولت های خارجی و نهادهای های برانداز غربی راه های جدیدی برای ادامه فعالیت در داخل ایران پیدا می کنند راه مبارزه با این سو استفاده ها و حفاظت از آینده فرنگ و سنت این کشور آگاهی تک تک مردم در برابر شبکه ها و بنیاد های غربی است و به قدرت های خارجی اجازه ندهیم تا از این مسائل به عنوان بهانه ای برای شکاف انداختن در اعتقادات و باورهای ما استفاده کنند they have no idea how to manage this and you know the pressure on the Islamic regime is immense you know on the same day that they want to arrest uh, Sepi De Rolion or uh, Ismail Bakshi you know the internet is washed with news and you know and the discussion of what's happened minute by minute and this is sort of uh, again puts in a uh, puts Islamic regime in 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 a corner and they have no they have no idea how to deal with this and the only thing is that they're trying to warn people, look, you have to uh, defend the culture and tradition of the uh, Iran and the East. And it's very clear because what we've said before too is that social media is a huge challenge to Islam and uh, the Islamist movement. And this is exactly what the Islamic regime is saying now. It, you know, And the social media is defending universal rights and values and what the regime is concerned about is defending tradition defending culture defending islam because it those are vehicles for it to control the population at large you know the the, the power of internet the power of social media is such that as sepi the audience said uh, you can bring 5000 striking uh, sugarcane factory workers and force them to confess and make documentaries for them. But you can't undermine one real fact, that your regime is corrupt and oppressive.